you you'll have to um really take moments where you could exercise the fruits of the spirit more if we look at the life of John the disciple for him to be at the cross with Jesus it took faith for him to be at the cross with Jesus so if we look at the life of John John used the fruits of the spirit at the cross to stay with Jesus because if John did not use the fruits of the spirit he would not been at that cross what now what are the fruits of the spirit that John was using faith John was using faith but he was also using peace what else was he using self-control if we look at the life of Daniel Daniel was using the fruits of the spirit in that kingdom Remember, they had snitched on him and said, he's breaking the law. So he had a chance to be bitter, but he chose the fruit of love. He chose the fruit of kindness. Then he also chose the fruit of long suffering. There's going to be many moments in your life where you will have a platform from God to exercise the fruits of the spirit. Which means this, something is going to pop up in your life. And when it pops up in your life, this is your chance to use the fruits of the spirit. Look at everything that comes your way and recognize when God is letting you use the fruits of the spirit concerning that situation. If we look at the life of Esther, Esther used the fruits of the spirit towards the Haman situation, towards King Ahasuerus. Remember, she did not want to violate King Ahasuerus' pro protocol, nor King Ahasuerus' his task. We look at Deborah. She used the fruits of the Spirit. She understood that her judgments must come from the Lord. And as a judge, Deborah, she, she planted herself in the wisdom mantle of God. All throughout your life, God will constantly keep sending things your way for you to use the fruits of the Spirit. You have to train your brain not to be stressed. You have to train your brain not to have anxiety. Remember the first nature of the flesh is fear, worry, stress, anxiety, overthinking. That's the first nature of the flesh. The first nature of the spirit is faith, hope, love, peace, temperance, patience, joy. In the New Testament, it says the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but it's righteousness and his peace and his joy in the Holy Ghost. Joy is a major weapon that God has given to you for you to choose to walk in all the time. You walk in joy all the time. Nehemiah wore joy anointed. David wore joy anointed. We look at the life of um, we look at the life of Adam before he sinned he had a joy anointed we look at the life of Abraham a joy anointed they all had a joy anointed that's why they were finishers of their assignment joy is the power of God to complete an instruction from God it's through joy that you escape the prison of temptation. Remember, temptation is Satan offering you false joy. So joy from the Lord is where you have understanding of what will bring you true happiness. 
You understand the decisions that will not bring regret. Joy. When you receive the joy anointing, you can't be stopped in this life. Joy is strength, which means it's a strong power working in your soul from God. Joy is really determination. It's really faith having crutches. Joy is the crutches of faith. I just want to tell this to you. Just think about it.